Hi, my name is Brian with Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio, and welcome back to another quality video from appliancevideo.com. This is a Whirlpool French door refrigerator, uh, freezer on bottom, and the issue we're having is the drain tube, um, or actually the issue we're having is the bottom of the freezer is getting uh, water on the bottom of the floor of the freezer and it freezes, um, and that is caused by the uh, drain tube um, not draining properly um, or being clogged up or backed up and um, when it goes into a self defrost mode where it uh, normally turns a, it turns the heater on melts the frost off the evaporator that water then drips down and th is supposed to go down through a, a drain tube um, and sit down here in the bottom um, the drain pan here uh, with that drain tube being clogged up it, it, it doesn't go where it's supposed to go into the drain pan it backs up onto the freezer floor and then refreezes um, so what we've done so far is um, we've taken the um, back panel of the uh, refrigerator here off to the compressor compartment. Um, I've disconnected um, the uh, wiring uh, harness to the inlet valve uh, to be able to uh, remove this uh, panel uh, further and get it out of the way. And uh, the first thing, uh, uh, so what we need to do is um, take a look at our drain tube and see why the water is not able to drain through it. The tools needed for this repair are a quarter inch nut driver, a flathead screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a turkey baster. So this is um, our drain uh, tube here and on this particular one if we move this back you can see this is uh, where the drain tube comes down through the cabinet and there's actually a drain grommet right here. Um, so we're going to take this off and take a look at it. So we remove this little uh, grommet from the end of the drain tube. Uh, so you can see, uh, you know, the water, this opens up when the water comes through and closes when the water um, isn't coming through so that warm air doesn't travel into the uh, freezer. So you can see it's just gummed up and it, they get sticky and dust build up and um, when the first time I opened this up it was really hard, it was stuck closed. Um, so what we would need to do is either replace this or just clean it out really good and um, then we're going to have to also um, remove the frozen uh, water that's accumulated um, so that it can and make sure that we flush it out with water and make sure uh, it's all draining properly. Alright so we're just going to take our drain grommet here and make sure we get all of the uh, dust and gunk out of it, run some hot soapy water through it, clean it up. Alright so we're going to just take our drain grommet and put back on to the drain tube. All right. All right. Now we're just gonna plug our inlet valve or ice maker valve back on and reinstall our back panel here. All right. We're gonna slide the back panel. Which one you want? down to the cabinet in the center here will go inside of the bottom lip here and there's a tab on the right that will stay out and then the portion here the whole left side will go down inside quarter inch screws to reinstall yeah she's in there just Clip goes on, holds tension on the uh, water line. out um, behind the evaporator cover so that when um, it does go into a automatic defrost the water can uh, drain down through the drain grommet now that it's cleared out so to do that uh, to gain access to the freezer here we got to remove the door uh, we just have to loosen the four quarter inch screws two on each side of the door that holds it to the track yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to let the door up and off. And we're going to remove our upper basket as well. Actually, to do uh, to remove our upper basket, there's going to be two quarter inch screws that hold the track on each side. I have to remove those and push tracks up like so. Pull our basket out, and then there's going to be uh, two. Two uh, brackets on each side uh, for the, the roller that rolls onto the track there for the basket. There's going to be two tabs to push in on each one while you pull up on the bracket to release it. So now that that's up on like that, we do that to each side. Now we can remove our basket. Next thing we got to do is uh, remove our ice maker. There's some two quarter inch screws. At the top, we can just loosen those up. There's one quarter inch screw at the bottom. And our top one came out. That's all right. Both of them came out. So it's fine. We have to take the, bo the, uh, the back screw actually would have to come off anyways. So the only one you can loosen and leave in would be the front upper screw. Now we got the ice maker unmounted. We just uh, remove our harness from the back there. Two tabs to push in and then pull straight out. Remove the ice maker. Uh, next thing we can do is um, to remove our back panel here, we're going to have to remove this cover and this cover and then there's going to be four quarter inch screws uh, to remove around the back. Uh, we'll go ahead and remove our screws first. To remove this cover, there's going to be a small tab here to release, and then uh, while you're pulling out on it, release the tab, and it won't come out yet. There's going to be uh, another tab over here. You have to insert your screwdriver and release while you're pulling out on it. Here. I'm just going to insert our screwdriver into that tab and release it. I'll swing over its hinge. We'll remove uh, the two tabs from the back panel. And then this is our sensor. We're going to remove our sensor from the clip here and fish it through and out of the cover. down in the center here you can see all the ice that's uh, built up there so we have to remove all this ice so that it can drain down through the grommet that we cleared out earlier all right and of course you want to turn off the power to the unit before you uh, remove the back cover uh, for the purpose of this repair uh, for the light we're going to leave the video on um, so now we can uh, clear all the ice out I'm going to go ahead and begin by clearing the ice out on the bottom here And again, our, our complaint was that we were getting uh, this ice buildup on the freezer floor, and then it would leak out onto the customer's floor.
All right, so now to make sure that we removed all the ice and that there's uh, no clogs or no ice buildup left in the drain, through the drain tube, we're going to take some hot water. I'm using a, a turkey baster, and we're just uh, pouring the water down through the drain tube here. And it's draining out. It's not backing up or coming back up or filling up the drain tube or pan here. So. It's, it's cleared out and we can put everything back together now. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is put our back panel back in place. And we're going to make sure that um, before we get it all the way up in place that we bring our sensor back through the cutout on the top right side. And snap our wiring harness for the ice maker back in place. And make sure the fill tube uh, for the ice maker goes back through the, the hole on the left side. Install our sensor cover, put it through the top hole, and clip it in the center. And then on the right side, we're going to insert our two right tabs here to the two right holes on the right, and then snap in place on the left. And then our evaporator fan cover. Uh, we got the two clips here, and then our clip um, that's on the Evaporator fan housing that'll go into the center here. So we'll push that in place, snap it all in place. So we just had to uh, get this lip on the outside of our drain pan, drip pan. We can reinstall our screws now. Normally we'd put our ice maker back in. In this case, uh, the customer didn't have the ice maker um, or the refrigerator hooked up with the water. Doesn't use the ice maker, so um, she requested we just leave the ice maker out. So the next step then um, is going to be to put our uh, racks back in in the front of our door. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put our top rack back in place. Just gonna lift up on the tracks on each side so that the track slips underneath and then uh, we're gonna push our tracks down on each side and we're gonna bring the basket all the way so it's uh, hitting each track as far out as it will go and then we're gonna snap our uh, clips our brackets for the roller back down so that they're even test it out make sure it's flush and even here and here and the next uh, Next thing we do is put our bottom basket back in. First we'll just slip this back in there, the ice maker bucket. And I've still got parts in the cupboard that come out last week and I didn't know where to Now our bottom basket will sit in the grooves on each side into the track. And now we can put our door back on. Actually next, before we put our door back on, we reinstall our two screws for the upper track. Next we'll put our door on. We're just going to line up the uh, screws of the door into the top and bottom grooves on each arm of the track. And we'll tighten our screws back up. And then we're just going to close our door, make sure the tracks are even and that the door lines up on each side, top and bottom. There's no gaps in the gasket that could uh, prevent warm air or can allow warm air to enter the freezer. Everything looks good there. 
Uh, so that will complete our repair uh, for the clearing out of the drain tube and drain tube grommet on our French door Whirlpool refrigerator. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com.